I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Hello everyone, it me, Dwarven Zaya Jianzu. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is going to be an interesting kind of series of events that's about to befall us. Be be befall us. Because this is going to be the first time I'm actually uploading a series from stream to YouTube. So, uh, please bear with me. Like I said, I'm losing my voice. Actually, you probably don't... Off to a great start. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Kind of recovering, kind of not. Just got over the flu, if you been following me on Twitter, but we're going to be uploading this to YouTube. It's going to be exciting. I already tried doing this once, and for whatever reason, my recording just got completely shot to pieces, so we're just going to start right over from the beginning. Man, that's pretty. <laughs> there they are, the denizens of this new world. Yeah, I see you over there. Mm. 
But someone's been doing work. Apparently it was me. It's always our friendly sound right there. So yeah, your giga counter is going nuts, man. Maybe we should leave? Nah, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Hero landing in the first 15 seconds. I like it. That's how you know it's gonna be a good game. The first actual action he has, he uh, hero lands. All right, this game, these games. Oh, there we go. Are notorious for hiding stuff, so you want to make sure you check all the little nooks and crannies. Beautiful. It's a comforting sound. Hi. You guys look like you've seen better days. Okay, apparently nothing in this new first area. Gotta hold it. I've got two rounds. Lovely. Right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Man, there's a lot of skeletons down here. Just gonna climb through this muck, don't mind me. The first thing I noticed about this game, though, is that it is absolutely beautiful. Ah, ammunition! Thank God. That's a really cool concept, that there are different methods of you actually being able to load your weapon. So, because you have a clip now, you can hold more rounds. Uh, in the first one, you actually had rounds that would, like, work like a revolver. At least there's less radiation in this area. The Giga Counter is no longer freaking out. Oh, God. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, it just, like, crawled on me. For the record, I hate what, uh... This flu is under my voice. It makes me sound very whiny. Not a fan. We're gonna get, like, zerged in a minute here, I know. Someone else is getting zerged. Hey, you guys fight them. Put this away. Hello, new viewer. Welcome, welcome. Sounds in this game are nuts. Oh, uh, I've spatial headset, so like I can hear it all going around. Oof, so good. Hopefully you do too, so you get the full experience. So far, haven't killed a single enemy. I already love the game. It's a good sign. <laughs> they have placed a lot more bodies in this area. Not in this area, but like in the areas in general. Looks like they've uh, they've made the world look more alive. Well, dead, but alive. That's a big fella. Oh, Jesus! God. That was like half scripted, half not. That was awesome. That was really cool. That was really cool.
So like the only thing I could do was just spam E. Oh, hey, fella. How you doing? Not bad, iron sights. Effective firearms. I like it. Why am I... I got stuck on something. I don't know how many rounds I have. Ten rounds. <laughs> Look at that, I answered my own question. I'm afraid to turn around. Hey, more shotgun rounds. That's what I'm saying. Anything else? You used to be able to interact with things, like uh, the desks and whatnot. Nope. No more. Okay. Guess not. Oh yeah, I heard him. Eh, hey, what's up, gentlemen? How are we doing? What? Oh, come on! He jumped at me as soon as I pulled the trigger. That's nice that it's not just like a scripted event, though. Like, that actually happens in combat. They will grab onto you and throw you to the ground. But my question is, if you're on the ground already, can you be attacked by multiple enemies? Because that would get real annoying real fast. Alright, listen to this. Loving this shit. I love it. We can't do anything without the welding firm. And this way, I can at least make a record. Man. Did you hear that? Uh, of course I did. I'm about to go dead for the following. Why do you want them recorded? I heard the Polish people have studied these migration patterns. Apparently I'm full of shotgun shells. I love the lore in this game, so you gotta bear with me. I'm gonna listen to all this stuff. Mikhailovich. That dude got messed up. I love that that was just there. Like I was saying before, it helps fill out the world. Like, you know that these people died because they were overrun. God rest their souls. Oh, maybe I should have saved some of that blessing for me. Can I take this? Okay. That'll be a no. Oh yeah, we're about to get attacked. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh boy. He should probably go. Oh, damn it. Like now. I don't like what they did with the eyes with the, the rats, though. They were never... Oh, Jesus. This is all scripted. Oh, my God. You need... Hey, buddies. I just got him like. <laughs> Doing work. Demir, Duke, idiot. 
Is that guy's name actually idiot? So I did play through a little bit of this. I tried doing a recording before and I was going to put it right up to YouTube, but it didn't work out that way. I don't know if we're the original RTM or if we're RTM's son, because he did have a son. You know, the name of my father sort of situation. But based on how much uh, whoop-ass he was just throwing out right there, might be the, the original deal. Spartan blood, the finest blood in all the land. Except, of course, dwarf blood, but that's a uh, that's commodity. <laughs> Hi. Artyom, are you awake? Nah. It's okay. The totally sleeping. Will be fine. <laughs> She's giving me that look, like, really? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about Maybe this they don't have legs. Maybe they can't walk. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. Oh, we're about to get reamed. Fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. That's a rough situation to be The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? Is that their slogan? You if look not fine us, to then me. who? So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. <laughs> you give me an answer, a chance to answer. <laughs> Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't Listen. you think that is unfair? No. Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Listen, Doc, you're just going to have to keep giving me all that blood because uh, I'm going to save the world, you see? You dig? All right. Oh, look at this. The attention to detail on these these models is amazing. He's got like a wicked varicose vein on his brain. On his, on his brain. On his head. That's so cool. Sorry, I'm I'm a nerd when it comes to graphics. Alright, uh... And check the room. We... Th that's way too many... It's like every one step I take, it sounds like I take two to three. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? You got it, man. You just... You stay strong, little man. We'll get there. We'll live on the surface once again. 
You guys are wasted power. Can't believe you guys. We're on very limited supplies here. See, we're using we're using candles and tuna cans for light, all right? Turn it off. That's cute. God. So what oh, was this? Uh, postcard. Cool. From Moscow. I guess that's part of the collectibles. There's a lot of people out there. Hey, buddies. You give us a scare, brother. Artyom. How are you, friend? I see you're all right. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be complete. Apparently, they really like me here. Any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha. How are you doing? You're using the hospital, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? Brother. Yeah, high fives all around. Privyet, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. Privyet. I give you two hours, people. Yeah. Please let's not repeat the last Hold on, Artyom. Oh, we getting drunk apparently. <laughs> that was a hell of a binge. No. Killer he learned his lesson, clearly. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. Hmm. Ooh. That flap yeah, got me yes. a little bit. And there's also <laughs> those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you All right, Mom. Love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest, but what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom, because it's dead. Do they not realize that like the metro's only in the city, so it's not necessarily like that it's everywhere? Time. time to replace our filters. Oh. Yeah, I'll Come do that in a minute. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the smell Find of this glorious down. oxygen. It's like fart in a box. You tell me you don't like fart in Have a box? You been to all these ruins? I mean, probably. All the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Potentially. Uh, ah, another one. She's fighting something. Hey, got both the postcards. I like that they um I like when they tell you like what the uh, collectibles are, so you know how you're doing. Like, oh, I've gotten three of the four. Hooray. And that seems to be everything in here. Okay. Can't flush the toilet? Ah. Eight out of ten right there. Can't flush the toilet. I was not expecting your little alcove to go there. Come on. Keep going. You got this. Alright. Oh, damn. Just take her out. Maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Bolas. There we go. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Why is flat? No. Us, then who? Exclamation points. A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Oh, I'm totally falling. Your turn now. 
Oh, I made it. Really? I don't make these filters like they used to, let me tell you. Man, hip firing is rough. The fact that they're getting better at ambushing is not good. Yes, they do. I don't know why I just grabbed, but I grabbed something. Oh, I like that simple red dot. That's nice. Yeah, give me that filter. Wonderful filters. Okay. The downside with this is that because you have that filter always, like, on your back, like, you that time frame that you have to keep pushing... It ends up leaving you sometimes in a bad situation because you're trying to look for little secrets and bonus filters like that. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's keep this rolling. I did the, uh, the smart thing and updated my graphics card while I, uh, was feeming in the background because my game wasn't working properly, which of course is my fault because I didn't do that. But hey, it happens, right? All right, really? These filters do not last very long at all. Oh boy. Yeah. That's not good. Sorry. Sorry, we took. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. Weird. I don't know what that that other creature was. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Always gotta keep your eyes peeled. Do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Let let them pass. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That yeah. was a large pack. That would have sucked. It's a fine oh, silencer you have on your rifle. The zone is off limits. I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Lady, I have no idea where we're going. You gotta lead us. Ah, see? Right here. I would've walked right past that. Apparently I was meant to use a lot more ammunition. Oh, I thought I lost her. It's like, no! Oh, photo mode? Oh, yeah! Oh, that's really cool. Boom. That's so cool. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Is it F8? I have to remember that. I love when they add that stuff. Oh. Okay, good. She's right there. Let's see. I love when they add stuff in like that so you can take like quality. Quality pictures. Of stuff and things. Alright. Up we go. You're fine. 
Her gun is way better than my gun. No. Yep. What? Oh. I thought there was a. I thought there was a snake. Hmm. Seems you owe me an apology, huh? You see that? It's moving. What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Uh. Look, it's our guns from the order. It looks like they're changing their train too. Let's join them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, get inside. That's what I'm talking Did about. Let's do this. Did you see that thing out there? We sure did. Come on, get in. It was also uh, being trailed by demons. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The double cross. <clears throat> you should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We, we aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, yeah, <laughs> Artyom knew. Lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. Ah, <laughs> oh, feels good to be right. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. Yeah, if we survive. Also, give my damn gun back. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They're gonna kill him right there. Yeah. Uh oh no. I don't want to kill the dog. Come on. 